Zoe Rosenstock, and this is my creative sample for my application to the NYU Clive Davis Institute of Recorded Music. I hope you enjoy. Before I ever picked up a pen or sat down with a guitar, I heard music. I heard it in the creaky floorboards of my childhood home, in the wail of the fire station next to the local library, in joy, sadness, and everything in between. I wrote my first song on guitar when I was 13, and it was like something in me just clicked. I wrote not because I wanted to, but out of pure necessity, in order to cope with my emotions. Songwriting helped me turn difficult moments into something really beautiful, and I still find that so incredible. Forever so anyway. I began producing my own music at the height of COVID in 2020. It took my songs to a whole new level and gave me so much more creative freedom. As a singer, I love vocally driven songs and was able to stack tons of vocal layers to really create an atmosphere that surrounds the listener. I created a GoFundMe to pay to record my music at a studio in Virginia for a bit. I made videos to advertise it and the project I was working on and ended up raising over $3,500. Working in the studio was such a fun, collaborative process, and I learned so much about music production along the way. Here are a couple of songs I recorded there. And it's cold outside, a million shivers on the wings of a butterfly. Our story is probably the most ambitious song I've ever written and arranged. I was really inspired by how Phineas and Billie Eilish used half-step harmonies and the dissonance that came with it. Shooting the music video was pretty nerve-wracking at first and was a huge step for me as a performer. I ended the shoot feeling so much more comfortable in my body and confident in myself. After releasing these songs on all streaming platforms, I had to treat myself like a business and analyze my results in order to reach a larger audience. I created flyers advertising my music and put them up all around my town. I curated Facebook ads and began posting music on TikTok as I'd seen so many of my favorite artists do. I also submitted my songs to playlists through resources such as Submit Hub and Spotify for Artists. The beginning of the end now has just under 16,000 streams on Spotify, which vastly contrasts the amount of streams I was getting when I first started releasing music, and I think can mostly be attributed to the work I put in to promote it. There's something so special about a live performance and connecting so intimately with an audience. When I write a song, it's for me, but when I perform, that song becomes so much more than a little tune I wrote on my bedroom floor. Institute of Recorded Music Summer High School and it was absolutely life-changing. I want to be well-rounded in all aspects of the music industry and no other place offers such a holistic curriculum. I would be so excited to be able to contribute to honestly such a magical place of learning. Happiness.